On today's show, we have Pioneer's new AVHX 4800BS. Yes, and we want to unbox it and tell you all about it. So stay tuned. So for more information on specific features, check out our how-to section on the 2016 AVH radios. There we dive deeper into the topics that we talk about, mm -hmm. such as features like Spotify, Pandora, whatever. Uh, so after you've watched the unboxing, if you want to learn more, dive into those. All right, now on to the show. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing and see what kind of goodies are here Tell this me. year. Alright, go okay. ahead and pull that stuff out for me, please. So we have... We have one USB cable, male to female. One power plug. And if you don't know what all these wires for, we do have a video up on what each one of these means, so check it out. Remote control. Remote control and a bag. Bag of screws, two, two types. Ones. Yeah. Microphone. Of course, Bluetooth microphone. And Mr. Mr. Owner's <laughs> Manual. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to the meat of this. Okay. This one? You want to talk about foam? I don't want to talk about any foam. Let's take a look at the back of the radio first. Okay. Give me a second. No, no, take your time. There you go. Okay. Alright, so to start with, we have 6 channel 4 volt preamp output. So right here, you're going to have your front, rear, and sub uh, preamp level output. Over here, you have your backup camera. You have your 30-pin connector, RGB connector for the add-on navigation system. You have the uh, USB input right here. This guy, this guy, and I'm sorry, it's this one. Oh yeah, this one, this one, and this one are the video in, these three right here. This one is the video out. This one is going to go to an overhead or a set of headrest monitors. And the writing is really tiny right here and here. That's why I kind of stumbled there. Sorry about that. Okay, over here we have the Sirius XM input. You have your antenna input right here. This is your aux jack. Not to be confused with something that looks identical to it, which is right here. This is the wired remote input. They're both the same size, so don't make the mistake. And then the little guy next to it is the uh, microphone. Bluetooth microphone input. Yes, thank you. And then, of course, you have the power plug input right there. All right, so we have the unit turned around. It's fresh out of the box. A lot of people ask, what do I do at this point? So we're going to walk you through the basic setup before we get into the more before we get into the features and tell you what it has. So the first thing that's going to come up is the languages. And from there, we want to pick what language we speak. So you know which language you speak. You have five to choose from. Go ahead and pick yours. We'll move to the next page. This is where you're going to run in a network or standard mode. Now, for most people, you're going to want to leave it in standard mode. If you want to learn more about network mode, check out our video on network mode. Then it's going to ask you what type of phone you have. Do you have an iPhone or other? Other is basically Android, and for some reason, they just can't put Android on there. I don't know why. Um, so pick what you want. In this case, we're going to go ahead and leave it on iPod, iPhone. Go to the next screen. Boom, we're at our main home screen. Tell us a little bit about the screen, Fernando. Okay, so this is a uh, 7-inch touchscreen uh, with five displays and 112 key colors. That's right. Not only that, this is a new display this year. It's yeah. a clear resistive display screen, which was only available on the NEX models last year. So now it looks a lot sharper, crisper, clearer. The colors are a little bit more vivid. If you saw our comparison video, it might not have done it justice, but the difference in color was substantial. Yeah. Now, this particular one is motorized. Yes. So if we come over here and we hit this button here, it'll go ahead and open it up. And inside is the... CD, DVD. That's mm. correct. Good job. <laughs> I know. Anyways, if we hit this, we also have the option to tilt the screen. So if there's a glare, you can go ahead and, you know, motor on through. And we'll go ahead and get it back to flat. X out of that. 
Now they've added one. They've added a couple new features this year as far as sources capable of you to use. Right. One particular one is FLAC audio. You can now play over the USB. One that you might have actually heard of is a little one called, huh? FLAC? No, Spotify. <laughs> Pay attention, man. It's our video. <clears throat> Anyways, they've added Spotify control this year into the radio. Now where it's going to be located is right here on the Spotify. You got it right there. Now it still has Pandora. It still has AM, FM. Uh, this particular, or they all do Sirius XM. Of course, we talked about the aux and the AV, and of course the rear view camera, which this will do. A new feature added this year, along with uh, Source Off, which it's always had, is Power Off. A lot of you people ask for the ability to actually turn the radio off. Couldn't understand why you'd want to actually turn the radio off. But if you do, it's now located right here. So you can hit this button. It's going to ask you, are you crazy? Do you really want to turn this radio off? And you click yes. The radio will power down and shut off. Now, once the radio is powered down and shut off, you won't be able to get Bluetooth phone calls anymore. That was one of the reasons why it stayed on before, was so that you could get Bluetooth phone calls. Now, if you still want to get your Bluetooth phone calls, no big deal. Go here, go there, and just click Source Off. Now, when you click Source Off, it'll do this. If you want to shut the screen down, hit Display. Now your display is off. You can touch it anywhere on there. It'll power back up. Then you can go to your Source List, and boom. Now, if you also notice, they put it in here, Source Off, Power Off. So it's in the main, main menu, we'll call it. Now... This also has Bluetooth audio. So this will stream Bluetooth audio. Something new this year is the ability to do dual phone. Now dual phone is mainly used for the Bluetooth calling that it has and the music that it has. So for example, if you have two people in the car, or both in the car, we can use his phone for music and my phone's for calls, or vice versa you just switch on the fly so if you're interested in that by all means check out the video you can also use dual phone mode for Pandora and Spotify yeah. which we have video on as well it's really cool to check out so before you ask me questions about it check out those videos because we're gonna we, we spend a lot of time talking about it in there now it has 50 watts by 4 of internal yeah. power still mm -hmm. okay and it still has a really awesome audio pack so what we're going to do is we're going to show you the audio pack real quick so you have an idea of what you're getting into. So this guy right here is the audio pack button, or the sound. It's supposed to be a speaker with radiating sound. Go to the EQ. You have five presets as well as two customs. This allows you to make your own. You can go here. You do this. You have 13 bands to play with. As you can see, it's very responsive. Okay, you go to custom two, and boom, there you go. Now you can flip-flop between the two. And we'll go back and pick one of the preset ones. Hit the back arrow. You have a standard balance and fader, mute level. You have subwoofer on and off. You have subwoofer level or speaker level. And speaker level, this will give you the ability to turn each speaker up or down. And this is really helpful when you get to the time alignment. You have crossovers. So you have your front, you can turn that on and off. To set the crossover, you simply just drag these around. You can adjust the slopes. You have front, rear, and sub. You have listening position. This is a generic time correction. And then if you want to get into a real time correction, oh, just tap time alignment. And here you can go in and enter in your, your, your distance that you're sitting away from the speakers. Come down here, keep going. Now, if you took the time to go ahead and set all that up, you can use save settings and this will remember the settings if the battery is ever disconnected. These two grayed out features are for a microphone that Pioneer sells if you want to do it automatically. You can plug it in through the auxiliary cable input uh, and then use the auto RTA slash EQ. You have load settings here so when it's, once you've set it up you go ahead and tap that. You have bass boost, leave it off. Uh, and then loudness control. You have four-step loudness control. Off, low, mid, whatever you decide. All right. And we'll get it. So everyone always wants to know what it's going to look like when it's in their dash. So we'll go ahead and show you the displays that it has real quick. There's been a couple, two new ones this year. Yep. So we'll go ahead and show you those as well as the colors that you can make it. Come over here. Tap that. Hit backgrounds. 
Of course, the one that's been up the whole time is new. These, this guy's a carryover, carryover. This is the other new one here. And then, of course, you have, you still have, oh, you know what, backgrounds. You still have the three movie ones, as well as you can add your own, okay, which can be done over the USB. You have themes, you have the same colors you did before, where you can do green, orange, blue, gray, and then you have illumination, which are the buttons across the bottom. Uh, you can make your own color, or you can choose from one of their colors. One other new feature this year that was really important yep. uh, was the ability to turn the beep off. These things, when you put them in a car that had a factory amplifier, beeped extremely loud. Uh, and so they decided to add in a beep on and off. So that is located here under your screwdriver and wrench, beep tone. This one here, turn it on, turn it off. Uh, and now your car won't beep. Another thing that they did this year was they took mirror link out of the radio. So people will be upset about that. Most of them won't because most of them didn't know how to get it to work anyways because most of the phones didn't work. They did keep App Radio live. Yay! We'll have a new video on that. We do have some new navigation features that are actually useful. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then they also added a phone book manual reload because now when you plug your phone in because you have three phones that you can add and have access to all three of them on the fly, it manually stores the phone books in the radio so that it doesn't have to refresh it every time you plug in your phone and it makes switching a lot quicker. So if you update your phone book, you need a, the ability to update it in the radio so it gives you the ability to, to manually re reload the phone book. So it doesn't do it every time you plug in there. Well, I'm plugging the Bluetooth. This is apparently plugging the Bluetooth. All right, so that wraps this unboxing up. Like we said, we're going to have a ton of videos out on the specific features. We just want to unbox it and show you what it does real quick. <laughs> and uh, wrap it up for them. Um, you guys can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. That was quick. Let me finish my drink. All right, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. We hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever you'd like, just please feel free to leave them in the comments, and one of us will get back to you and have an answer for you. Yep. And that's it for tonight. See you later. Bye. <laughs>